And new tonight, the family of a 12 year old boy who was killed after being hit by a car is sharing their memories of their son who was taken way too soon. News 12's Krista McNally spoke exclusively with the family. Krista, I can't imagine how heartbroken they must be right now. Yes, the father, Tomas Molina, who has the same name as his son, had tears in his eyes and was beside himself with grief. We saw him here earlier at a growing memorial reflecting on the loss of his son. We spoke with him through an interpreter at their home very close to where, near where the 12 year old was killed. Devastated, devastated in pieces. Tomas Molina says his son Tomas was smart, outgoing, and he was so proud of him. It's been very hard on the family, you know, everybody if it was already close together and stuff again and, and very knit, close knit, that has been very, very hard to take. Molina says his boy always wanted to be with him and asked if he could go work construction with his dad on Sunday. I wanted to be with him and do the work with him and I was asking to, for him to take him to work. But he, he was telling me that a little bit too dangerous, like I don't want to take you today. Hoping to keep his son safe, he didn't take him to work. And just before one on Sunday, Tomas was hit by a car while crossing the road on Woodfield Road and Linden Street. He died from his injuries at the hospital. He was going on his way to do some homework with some friends and um, his mom gave permission to go and then everything else just happened after that. The West Hempstead superintendent sent a letter to the school community offering condolences and saying in part, Tomas was heading towards the honor roll. Tomas had a huge smile and was always willing to lend a hand to a classmate. Neighbors News 12 spoke with right after the crash say accidents along this stretch of Woodfield Road are common. They described the impact as being so loud it sounded like two cars hit head on. I was in my house and I heard it sound like a car crash. That's how hard they hit. There was no other car involved. It was just the car and the, and the person. So it must have been a really high impact. Now, support services are being offered to Tomas's uh, fellow students. There has also been a GoFundMe page set up to help the family pay for funeral expenses. And for information on that, you can go to news12.com under numbers and links. That's the latest from West Hempstead. Krista McNally, News 12, Long Island.